our universe is more fluid, chaotic, and unpredictable than we could ever expect. In the last couple hundred years, humans have begun to scratch the surface of our universe and the workings behind it, but we are still far from understanding the vastness of our existence. With the things that science has explained, the common man can create both wonderful and terrible things. Alongside the scientific revolution and the development of our knowledge, humankind progresses. With that we turn to Viterix. The human perception of the world around us has long been known to vary from person to person. Many things are widely perceived, but sometimes things that certain people are able to notice go unexplained. The most common is intuition, hunches, feeling something in your gut or bones, or sometimes certain people are more perceptive to phenomena, leading to the widespread observation of specters and apparitions throughout the world. These things are not by chance. Sentient life has developed a specific neurotransmitter named anopticin in order to filter out the smaller inconsistencies in our perception. Anopticin is continuously produced in the medulla of adrenal glands and the pineal gland, then secreted throughout the body. As with any natural hormone, the levels of anopticin vary from person to person, and over time, explaining the varying levels of perception that we can experience. Neurotropics are the name given to a class of chemical binding drugs that block the anopticin neurotransmitter. This neurotransmitter has been extensively studied by the Bureau of Acquisition, reaching several milestones, of which the most notorious were discovering the mechanisms by which sentient life has developed its neurotransmitter, how this substance works within the developing and adult brain, and most recently, how the effects exerted by it can be undone. The latter leads to the creation of Viterix. Research into several psychotropic drugs, of which the most successful were the class of neurotropics within Research Site 074, resulted in creation of Viterix, from the Latin vider, to see, which act as powerful multiple neurotransmitter pathway synergists, preventing the binding of anopticin, and further allowing the binding of other neurotransmitters, resulting in the revelation of previously hidden presences and connections to the user. Following extensive testing at Site-002, a method of administering these viterics through numerous intake routes without severely compromising any cognitive functions was refined over time, with priority therapeutic targets being the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, the parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe, areas known for handling the processing of the senses and memory. Naturally, the concentrations of anopticin waning throughout the body results in a higher potential for perception. The concentrations are especially variable in younger children and hormonally imbalanced individuals. Certain anomalous inconsistencies require the complete blockage of anopticin to be perceived, whereas others only need lower concentrations. Research into the cause behind this is ongoing. It is theorized that some phenomena are more prone to being concealed from our consciousness. The anomalies discovered through the use of Viterix have been dubbed pseudo-anomalies. Through an unknown phenomena, the exposure and subsequent communication about pseudo-anomalies via Viterix is in some instances transferable to others. It is theorized that some form of intuition mechanism is involved, though this is not confirmed. When a low-level anomaly, believed to be close to our perception threshold is discovered, bringing attention to the phenomena may be enough to override other spectators' mechanisms of anopticin. This is not the case for high-level anomalies, in which all observers must have a form of blockage to their baseline anopticin in order to perceive. Multiple drugs are placed under the classification of Viterix. Each of these, like all drugs, have their own side effects, contraindications, duration of effect, and administration methods. Each bind with varying levels of success to the types of anopticin. All Viterix show increased effectiveness on children and are to be utilized with caution. Oniratriptan, the most common Viterix in use, successful in revealing anomalies close to baseline, binds to canopticin. Oniratriptan generally is effective for 10 to 12 hours. Adult dose: 50 micrograms per kilogram orally, 10 micrograms per kilogram intranasal. Pediatric dose. 15 micrograms per kilogram orally, 0.5 micrograms per kilogram intranasal. 
Absolute maximum dose of 6,000 micrograms. Do not repeat dose within 24 hours. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Significant history of hepatic and or renal disease. First trimester pregnancy. Alcohol use less than 12 hours. Side effects. Headache. Nausea. Paranoia. Persecution delusions. Notes. A neurotriptan is supplied in 2,000 microgram, 1,000 microgram, and 100 microgram pills, as well as 100 microgram per milliliter and 20 microgram per milliliter vials. A neurotriptan is tolerated well when ingested orally. Used with caution in patients with schizophrenia or previous history of hallucinogenic substance abuse. Alcohol usage causes enhanced potency and increased delusion during use. l -persectide. This class of bitter is successful in binding to canopticin and some ancentinin, revealing anomalies further from our baseline. l -persectide is effective for approximately 3 to 5 hours. Adult dose 30 micrograms per kilogram intramuscular, 3 micrograms per kilogram subcutaneously. Pediatric dose 5 micrograms per kilogram intramuscular, 0.3 micrograms per kilogram subcutaneously. Absolute maximum dose of 4,500 micrograms. Do not repeat dose within 72 hours. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Significant history of renal disease. History of seizures. Family history of Parkinson's. Acute delirium. Schizophrenia or mental disorders. Recent consumption of asparagus. Side effects. Headache. Nausea. PTSD. Notes. l persectide increases the likelihood of Parkinson's, dementia, and depression. Used with caution in patients with schizophrenia. l persectide is currently supplied in SQ and IM vials. During a chance event, it was discovered that l persectide has an extreme negative reaction with asparagus, causing pulmonary embolisms. Leptocytorine, the most recent class of bitter developed. Research reveals this compound quickly binds to anoptosin and canoptosin, and marking them for faster hepatic catabolism to inactive forms. To date, this compound has only been able to be administered orally via sublingual administration successfully for short-term action. Effects are observed within 10 to 15 minutes after absorption by sublingual mucosa and remain active up to 6 hours. Adult Dose 10 mg sublingual, dosage to be repeated in 4 hours if necessary. Pediatric Dose 0.5 mg per kilogram sublingual. Do not exceed maximum dose of 60 mg daily for adults, 20 mg daily for children below 12 years of age. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Significant history of hepatic disease History of seizures Schizophrenia History of cardiac arrhythmia. Side effects: headache, nausea, hepatomegalia, tachycardia. Notes: Liptocytorine is safe for use during pregnancy. To date, no other administration pathways have proven successful beyond sublingual. Due to this, the compound has been issued for use by MST troops during missions requiring its use. Besides these compounds. The department possesses other completed and in-development bitterics, whose documentation is classified. Current research is developing newer methods of administration and newer compounds with alternate pathways of action. Some of the most promising are Bradyptocene. Research reveals this compound quickly binds to decantopticin, limiting its conversion to active anopticin and promoting their renal clearance. Absorption of the molecule is predominantly dermal, with the test vehicle currently being via dermic patches containing 50 mg of bradyptocene. Effects are observed within 30 minutes after absorption by the skin and remain active up to 24 hours due to a depot effect on fat tissue. Research is currently ongoing to shorten the absorption time. Adult Dose 50 mg topically, one patch every 24 hours on rotating areas rich in subcutaneous adipose tissue. Pediatric dose, testing ongoing. Contraindications Hypersensitivity, significant history of renal disease, morbid obesity, 
psoriasis, and other skin conditions. Side effects Headache, nausea, oliguria, chronic kidney failure, lipodystrophia. Notes Testing indicates certain individuals may develop physical and psychological dependence to the drug. Research to diminish or fully suppress its effect is ongoing. Neoptosin, an antagonist analogous of anoptosin, which binds to the enzymes in charge of converting cantoptosin to anoptosin. The compound is delivered via eye drops, with minor side effects reported by testing subjects. Research is ongoing to determine optimal dosage rates due to exhibiting variable dosage necessities for each individual. Current preparations come in 10 ml vials of 20 micrograms per milliliter. Adult dose 2 micrograms topically, 2 drops, 1 on each eye, every 6 hours. Pediatric dose 2 micrograms topically, 2 drops, 1 on each eye, every 8 hours. Contraindications Hypersensitivity, inflammatory diseases of the eye, glaucoma, and optic neuritis. Side effects Headache, nausea, dyschromatopsia, astigmatism, iriditis. Notes: Research undergoing to diminish or suppress the majority or entirety of visual effects caused by the compound. Further inquiries about Bitterix may be directed to research personnel assigned to the Department of Bitterix upon written request.